So I have had a couple people ask me about the constructing tessellations um, assignment. So I'm going to make this a little bit of a video for you guys so you can kind of understand a um, little bit more concretely. Um, so this is for part one. I will make a separate video for part two. It'll just take me a little bit more time. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to have a piece of paper that's covered in squares. So that means that you guys have all those pieces of dot paper. You can use that um, and just make bigger squares. Like I would put at least four and trace out those squares. Um, or you guys can just draw a bunch of squares onto a piece of paper until you fill it. Um, so part one is going to ask you to start with a square and draw a pattern on it. So for example, if I have a square and I want to draw a pattern on it. So the pattern I might choose is maybe I'm going to color this part of my corner in um, and I might do some, maybe I'm going to do three circles on it. So it's kind of a unique pattern. I'm going to zoom you in there for a second so you can kind of see it a little better. Um, and so the idea behind this is that if I'm doing this type of a tessellation, I'm going to draw that exact same shape in every single one of my squares here. So um, as I go through, I'm going to color each one of the corners and give each one of them the three dots that I decided are going to go on here. And so as I continue through, um, we are going to end up with having something that tessellates. It's a pattern um, within the shape. So I'm going to finish this up here. I'm going to speed through this um, with a little bit of editing. And then I will show you up close the final product once I am done. Okay, so it's a little bit messy um, because I am trying to do this really quickly so I can get it posted for you. But if you look, this is a tessellation using the method of part one. So each one of those squares has the same general um, pattern drawn onto it. I would expect that yours is a little bit more precise. Um, try to be a little bit more careful than I was just because I was trying to rush through it for you guys. Um, but more or less, that is part one. If you do part one today and then do part two tomorrow, that's perfect. Um, but I will try and get the part two video up here right as well, right away as well. All right, hopefully this helps.